Okay, last campaign of Richard the Third, War of the Roses. York looking pretty good. There's only one Lancastrian heir left. If we can kill him, it's game over. If not, we need to end this campaign season uh, with more nobles on the board. And we're in a pretty good position to do that. Um, we hold London. We have this church here. They both count as points. I didn't... I need to look up... I don't think um, royal heirs count as far as as far as votes go at the end. So I should probably check on that. Because <clears throat> that gives us two points over the Lancastrians because we have three heirs on the board, whereas they only have one. What is he doing over here? All right, the Irish. Do, do, do. So let's check that. Victory. Ah, majority of nobles and heirs. So it is basically then going to be impossible for Lancaster to win this. Although luck did grant them a bit. We'll see their hand in a moment. All right, so let's look at the Yorkist hand here. Not bad, not bad at all. So really, I think it's just playing a waiting game. Um... I said, oh, we should put some forces in South York up here to stop them from getting their clergy for their vote. But then other than that, I think we're just going to stay pretty much where we are. That's kind of my intention anyway. So let's start with a four. We can move some stuff around, recruit some people in South York, I think. That'd be fine. And then over here on the Lancastrian side of things, pretty good hand. Mini fours, along with a muster. They're going to start with a four as well. Pretender goes first. They're going to use one of that to move this in. And um, I'll probably play a couple turns here off camera. And I'll come back. All right, three cards in, and this is the situation. It's mainly been... Bringing reinforcements onto the board. Oh, I completely forgot about them. I need to bring them in next time. <laughs> um, so a lot of um, can a lot of um, bringing all the units in together here to make them a little more defensible. Something maybe like this. So where is Lancaster going to strike? Will be the question. Um, they have muster. Now, is that only to a friendly? Let's kind of look at their situation as well. So we have, you know, nothing surprising. In any of those blocks over on the other side. Okay, yeah, muster is only in a friendly or vacant area, so I can't muster to do an attack. Okay, so York needs to bring in the Irish and their other contingency over there, so they will do that next. So as far as our attack routes, we could get here. It's going to be a, a major battle somewhere. If we play first, and we play a four, we can lock this down. We can come here. These guys can't get anywhere useful is the problem. So I think I'll move these first, bring the rest of these into a group that might be able to do something. Let's see, how many moves will that take? Three moves? Two moves, three moves. So we'll play a three on our end of things. The other side here needs to bring in one and two, so they'll play a two. So we'll go first. I'm going to bring these up. That's two plus... Uh, Oh, right, we need to move these guys over. Uh, so let's move them up. Try to look at the borders here. I think we'll move them 
here. Bit worried about that, but um, I think we'll bring in. Let's bring in the Irish. Let's bring them in. Is there any point in bring them in? I don't know that they're going to really help us much. So there's. Dead. I'm thinking we bring in these here. Actually, let's move them here and bring them in there for our two instead. Okay, well, there's going to be big battles, and the Yorkists are going to just stay put and weather the storm, react to what they play on the other end of things because we want the defensive advantage. So I think now is about as good as time of any. We might move these guys down first, perhaps. Might as well play our muster now. And save the other ones. So we'll muster here, I think. Bring these guys down. And on the other side of things, <clears throat> I suppose we'll do this. Get the Irish here. Try to move them over this way maybe as reinforcements at some point. And as far as the other activation goes, I'm not even sure. We could try and preempt. Um, that actually might be a good idea, come to think of it. Because they're not going to be able to react. This is a pretty decent force. Let's go ahead. Well, can we make it though? We can only get three in. Um, let's leave Cantonbury behind. They're relatively worthless. I think we can beat this. So let's do it. Let's move in. Take the initiative. Strike them while uh, they can't react. Hopefully, yeah. That's a decent force, but I think we can we can take that. So they are on the defense. The Welsh get to go first. Ones and twos. Ooh, two hits. That's a problem. All right, Burgundian crossbowmen. Three hits. One, two, three. Two. We can't do any charges. There next. Three. He's not defending his shield. I need to mark where this is happening. Uh, one hit. He hasn't gone yet, so let's take it on these guys. He's next. So one, two, threes, or fours. Two hits. One, two. Bristol. No hits. Back around to the Welsh. Ooh, two hits. They are very effective this time. This was probably a bad battle on our end. Uh, Burgundian crossbowmen, do we want to retreat? So what good are we really doing here? If we kill him, that's good. But killing these doesn't really help us all that much. If we hit with two, that's not going to kill him. He's already attacked. He's going to go next with only one. It's not likely that he's going to hit. It's much more likely he will. And if I hit twice here, I'll actually be able to kill some stuff. Because I'm afraid of leaving these guys behind is the thing. So I am actually going to attack. Uh, so it's his turn. Two hits. Okay. Uh, Pembroke next. Unlikely. Oh, off the table. No hit. Okay. So now him first. No hit. Him next. Oh, devastating. Okay. Did the Lancastrians want to retreat? I don't think so. I think um, they've got kind of nothing to lose at this point. 
is the thing. So let's have the Welsh go. That's a hit. Is it time for us to flee? Let's fight this one out. That's a hit. Welsh have gone. So the Welsh are dead. Now it's time for Pembroke. He hits. Burgundy and Crossbowmen are dead. Now it's time for these. We'll do him first. A miss. And a hit. So he'll go first and he will retreat. To here. And then we will regroup. Uh, we were fighting here. We can only regroup to an adjacent space. We'd like to get here, so we're going to pull back. All right, well, that's interesting. So they know that this is weak, although it only has one noble in it. But hey, that's better than none, right? So we're going to play the big four on the Lancastrian side of things. We also have a big four on our end. I'm not sure what good that does us, though. As far as the Yorkists go, the Yorkists have a four and they have a force march. Um, I say let's use the force march and just basically pass. Well, I suppose we could do this, because this will happen first, so that's quite nice, actually. So let's do that. We could. Hmm. They're gonna go first. We want. We want to play this because we want them to go first. Thank goodness they did play that because we want to be able to reinforce some of these major battles. All right, so let's see where they're going to strike. They can only come in from three borders when attacking. I'm fairly certain that's the case. Let's double check. if that's under movements or under attacking. Doesn't appear to be under movements. I know I read it. Uh, a player may attack via one, two, or three different borders. Yeah. And I'm also going to use a a separate dice here so you keep track of our rounds because it's going to be important. Okay, so we will be on combat round one. Let's move back here. Oh, well, let's see who's moving in, I guess, first, right? I mean, let's move everyone in, right? So, one, two, three. Huge, huge battle. All right, and for reinforcements. Wait, that was only three. We have four. Um, hang on. We want to take him instead. Let's just move him. We already activated him, so he can go elsewhere. So let's do this. So we have uh, another block to push maybe something else. All right, so four on the Yorkist. One, whoa, let's make sure we keep these. Do we commit our royal heirs? There's only one thing left after this. This is the thing. We only need to survive for four rounds. So that's one, two, <clears throat> three. Right, we can, I don't think, 
defending. I think it's three borders as well. Let's see here. Maximum of two different borders are allowed. Okay, so he can't go. And that's two, so that's fine. Okay, big old battle here. Biggin. The fate of England, if you will. All right, so let's get this all set up. We are on round one. We have so many blocks. For the first round, we're going to do this for the first. Actually, we should, we should use him for the first, because he might be able to change someone onto our side. Pembroke hasn't taken any damage. So I don't know why he's flipped like that. Okay, so I think this is all legal. And uh, from looking at the rules, it looks like they all come in at the same time. In Crusader Rex, I think um, reinforcements come in depending on when they when they sort of funnel in. If they're the first to arrive, or the second, or the third. So on and so forth. So. Okay. Big old battle. All right, I need to look up those Warwick symbols. Let's see what those mean. Kent and Salisbury have Warwick shield instead of loyalty rating. These blocks have a loyalty rating of 2, but only a 1 if Warwick is making the treachery roll. Warwick cannot make a treachery roll on North Armorland or Westmoreland. Well, I don't think we're fighting there, so that's fine. In fact, let's put um, him here to represent that we're fighting there. Okay. Well, so let's order these blocks. We have A's against A's, B's. All right, so he is first. He's not a royal heir, so we can't try any sh of that sort of shenanigans. Where's my dice? So he's going to roll three dice. We are on round one. He gets one hit. We'll take that on Buckingham. So that's him gone. He is going to attempt a roll on... When do they come in? They come in the next round. So let's try it on Kent. So that's two dice. We need evens. We haven't had a single flip yet, have we? Nope, both odds, as a matter of fact. So that's wasted. All right, and then we have a bunch of B2s on the Yorkist side. So three dice, no hits. Hastings, no hits. And no hits. All right, that's all of them engaged. Now let's do the French. Do I have a fourth dice? Yes. Two hits. Um, let's take it on Salisbury since one, two. Since he can possibly flip, these two come up. That's the French gone. Pembroke, three hits on twos. One hit. We'll take it on Kent next. That's Pembroke gone, so now Buckingham. Three. No hits. 
Okay, that's the first one now. The reinforcements come in. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got York, the king. Uh, we have Worcester, Essex. I have to readjust this camera. Norfolk, Norwick, Rutland. And the Earl March. Can we see everything? And then on this end, we have Rebels joining in. Uh, Bombards are A for the first round, and then we'll switch them to Ds. Bs, Bs. All right, this is a big old battle. Now, the thing is... As the Yorkist, why not just flee? They'll get three shots before our bees go, which is one of our royal heirs, but we have more than enough to take. I suppose he's a bee as well. Um, because there's only one card left. So they're going to get to try to do this again. But we have more than enough room to run away. We can sort of spread out. Hmm. Because if we run away, most of these borders are fours, so we can get you know everyone away to maximum capacity. The only places we can't go or where they came in from. So one, two, and three, but that still gives us one, two, three places to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can get everyone away. Um, Hastings is better attacking here. And I think he's the only one. We don't have a crown here, which is unfortunate. We'd probably like to fight in London more than we would like to fight here. So they'll win, they'll get to regroup, but I don't think that really helps them much. So it's a bit unfortunate, really, that um, I don't think it makes sense for the Yorkers to stay and fight this very cool battle. Although we can do charges, can't we? If we kill Somerset here, we win. Uh, can we only do one charge per round? Let's see. An air charge. The senior air present in each battle at the instance of fire has the option to charge. Charging air fires. Yep. Okay. Hmm. So York gets four at three that's a good chance of killing him so you know what let's stay let's try and kill him because i think it's an instant victory at that point then so why not let's make this exciting if nothing else um and he's also the only one that can force a change as well which is unfortunate it's too bad i can't do it with him fairly certain that's the case treachery roll whoa the King, Warwick, and the Pretender. Also, not even a um, the eldest heir at a place. Only the King, only Warwick, and only the Pretender. So he is the Pretender, he is the King. But he, being the King, is also the one that can do the charge. So. Okay, well, let's stay and fight then. So, Earl of March, three dice. This is round two, also. No hits for the Earl of March. Neville, two dice. One hit. Uh, let's take it on Newcastle. Okay, so that are these engaged. Let's move them back so it's obvious. All right, A's go next on this side of things. So A3's for the Bombards, two hits. 
two. Uh, Rebels. Next. No hits for the Rebels. Alright, now he has an interesting question. To fight or to try and flip someone. I mean, flipping seems the obvious choice here. The only person you can flip is him, and he's only at a one. You could do a charge and try to kill him. What are our other options? Nope, can't, can't. Now we can flip um, Kent, can't we? Wait, though. We can only do it once per... Oh, well, this is the first time he's fighting. Right, right. Sorry, sorry. Um... <laughs> I mean, we might as well try and flip Kent, right? I think that's kind of... It's two dice. Or we could get two hits on something, but... Let's try and flip him. We've tried this before, though. I think we can only do it once. One per battle. And I remember rolling them. Or was that a different battle? Crap. Man, my memory is just shot. Um, we tried it this battle. It didn't work. So I can't do it again. So he's just going to fire. No hits. The French. No. We're on this side of things. Alright, so he's going to do a charge against Somerset. And try to end this. End it rightly. That's two hits. Which is... One less than he needs because we're not at a crown location, so he doesn't fire one more. That means he gets a free hit back. Bonus fire, normal firepower. So if it survives the charge, I assume that just means it, he only gets to roll at one. Okay, so he missed. All right, now let's go down this line. So we'll do Hasting next, because he's rolling on threes, because this is his home territory. It's going to be one hit. Uh, we have to get here. That's him gone. Go ahead and do Salisbury. Nothing. Worcester, nothing, Essex, one hit, mm, let's take it on the French, Suffolk, nothing, Norfolk, one hit, Rutland, no hits, and Norwick, no hits. All right, so we are on the third round. Let's reset everyone. While we have all these, let's do some counting. One, two, one, two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Versus there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so we have to fight as the Lancastrians. There's no way we can win. Otherwise, so let's do it. He's at a D now. They're defending, so they get to go first. Uh, the Earl of March attacks. Two hits. Rebels. And Kent. Ooh, a hit. Uh, let's take it on the Bombards. That's them gone. Let's move everyone back so we have that middle battle area. Big battle to end things off. Um, York is going to try and charge again. And in this, I assume. <laughs> he does indeed. That is a charge, that is a death. They have no legitimate or illegitimate uh, heirs to the throne at this point. York is victorious with one card left to play in the third campaign season.
All right, good times. Yeah. Um, so this is a shorter video because of, we just had the one campaign left and things really start speeding along once I got the rules down on this one. It goes pretty fast. Do I want to do a review now or do I want to do a review later is the question. <laughs> um, I'll collect my thoughts a bit and do one later, I think. So yeah, thanks for joining me, Yorkist win, and I'll be back with a review.